How did you two get together? I mean, how did this tour come about? Actually, it was my idea. I've had it for a while, about almost eight or nine years. I had the idea for Bontage as a kind of a umbrella term for us to be able to tour together and bring in different... We're just doing our two bands this initial try of this because he's got a fantastic band full of stellar musicians with horns. and It's the Phantom Blues Band, and he won a Grammy dump for the record that he did with them. And uh, he tours with all different formulations, but this is one of my favorites, and it's full of friends of mine that have played on my albums. And So I, I came to him. We both were finished with our album cycle touring. Um, you know, I did a bunch of touring last year for the elections and Senate races, and uh, this was a good summer for me to try to pair up with him. So I called him, and he'd finished his tour for his last record, and I said uh, I had this idea, and I wanted to be able to start it off with us combining bands and then down the line have it kind of be a festival catch-all phrase for when we bring in a different African and Celtic and uh, reggae and you know different up-and-coming blues artists and just kind of make it kind of a festival. Now that you're working together, and I know it was just the first night, in rehearsals, what do you think that maybe the two of you have learned from each other? Well, that we probably could could play for about two days straight without running out of material, for one thing, because we had to kind of arm wrestle for which tunes. You know, he showed up with a wish list at my house of about 15 songs, and I had maybe 20, 25, because I had more time to think about it. And So um, what we've learned is just to uh, delight in the other's uh, musicality. I mean, we have complementary stars styles and in that we both came through blues and R and B is our probably our roots, but ever since the beginning he and I both been pushing the boundaries and he's that's one of the reasons it's such a great fit. We're kinda of like musical cousins. Oh that's very exciting. We're on with Bonnie Ray and the show is August to eighteenth at Chastain Park. I know from seeing you live Watching you on stage, I think every woman wants to be you. I mean, oh, really. That's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and, you know, there was a quote I read. Someone, you know, probably very opposite of you, but also in the music business. I read once Kelly Clarkson said, you know, you were one of the people that made her want to be in the music business with your song Love Me Like a Man. Have you heard about that? I did hear that. And when she won her Grammy, she she pointed to me in the audience and, you know, she said, oh, I can't believe you're there and I'm going to meet you. And uh, you know, it's been so wonderful to have people like Winona and her, and and you know, you know, when I when I invited, uh, when I wanted to have a a, a DVD live show of the uh, my last tour, and I put together my wish list, and it was Nora Jones and Allison Krauss and Ben Harper and Keb Mo, my old friend, and they all said yes within a few hours. So it, it's wonderful for me to feel like I'm in that position now that so many of my heroes, when I started out, they kind of mentored me. So I'm really proud that Kelly because I'm a big fan of her and isn't that cool to hear that from you we're on with Bonnie Raitt and your show is August 18th with Taj Mahal you mentioned some of those people that you wanted to work with and uh, Allison Krauss really stuck out because I think her record with Robert Plant really made a lot of waves do you think that that's something that that you'd want to do something along those lines of well it really it really broke through didn't I, I don't think anybody was expecting it any more than they thought oh brother was going to win album of the year but you got to realize also because in the in the Grammys you're dealing with um, people in your industry, you know, the people that are voting, and that's why I got to win Album of the Year. I don't know whether the the American Music Awards. I've never even been nominated, so you know, it's it's a certain certain ilk. But then to have it cross over and get so much radio play, and I think Alice and, and together the two of them come from such um, different backgrounds, but to have them come together in that fresh way is something I'd love to do. And I've actually done a lot of wonderful duets. I got to participate on that Ray Charles beautiful album before he passed away and and uh you know some willie nelson and bb king and aretha and i have all done duets and my dad and i recorded and tony bennett so here i am with taj and you know it makes it fresh for me to be able to sing not my own set the whole time although i want to assure people that come to the show that you know there's a full set of taj and a full set of me and then we do my favorite part of the show right now is the three acoustic songs we do in the middle. Lee, the show is August 18th at Chastain. What's one word to describe how you feel right before you go on stage? Thrilled. I, you know, I cannot tell you. It's like being, every time you do this, I mean, you know, I never have stopped doing this. And my dad performed till he was 88. And, you know, he was, you get those, but not butterflies, but you get the adrenaline going and you're thrilled about whether you're going to be as good as the last time you were playing there and the, People haven't seen you in a few years, and um, trust me, this is you're the first person I've talked to since I woke up. I feel like gravel Gertie, but once my voice gets warmed up, <laughs> all you do, you know, all those worries go away. And, and uh, I've been blessed to have really good health the last, especially the last 22 years. Oh, and what would you? What kind of advice would you give to someone who's an up and coming 